Hey guys, welcome to episode 13 of the Personal Project Podcast. This is a personal development podcast where I, Katie Arrington, discuss my personal project, me. I'm an artist and life coach, and I struggled with anxiety, depression, insecurities, so much self-loathing, procrastination, and so much more. And this podcast is my weekly update on what I'm doing to create a better life for myself. Okay, so I actually did not feel like recording something today at all. I was feeling kind of blah and kind of moving slowly and I know what the culprit is. It's because, well, today I am flying to Dallas, Texas for my life coaching training, which I am over the moon about. But I know I tend to do this where I'll use that as an excuse, like the fact that it's a travel day, as a reason to kind of take it easy or just kind of like say like, oh, it's going to be such a messy day anyway, like I can't fully concentrate, there's so much stuff going on because like it's totally out out of my normal routine and I'll use that as an excuse to not do things that make me uncomfortable. So (laughs) I'm just being aware of it right now. Like I'm just, um, yeah, just noticing it and being like, I see you. (laughs) I see you over there. (laughs) And so I'm going to make this podcast regardless. Um, But at first I was not excited. But since I like wrote out kind of the topic that I wanted to talk about today, I am super excited. And I'll tell you more later at the end of the episode. Um, And so something that happened last week, which gave me a lot to think about and just, yeah, I learned something pretty awesome, I guess, but um, I spilled water on my laptop. I know it's, oh my God, I just feel, oh, I can't believe I did that, but um, I wanted to use this as an example of how much my self-talk has improved uh, from the past because in the past when I spilled stuff or when I didn't take care of my technology this would be the perfect time for me to bash myself I would say things like Katie you are such an idiot you are so useless you are so spoiled you're ungrateful like this is why you're not successful this is why you don't deserve any anything nice and it would just be really really mean talk and I would just then use it as a reason too to be completely depressed the rest of the day and it just would be super unproductive and I would just yeah I would just be really really mean to myself and I had no idea the impact of talking like that like I really thought Well, I I didn't really know the purpose of it, but I think I thought, like, this is how I'll improve myself, is, like, shaming myself into into changing, and it never works like that at all. So, yeah, I spilled water on my laptop, and unfortunately, it won't turn on. I did everything that it said online to do, but I think it just, yeah, it just, it's, something's wrong, something's wrong in there, so I'm going to have to take it to the store and um we'll just see what happens hopefully it's not too expensive but anyway so but yeah i luckily didn't even go down that like negative mean self-talk at all i kind of i mean maybe a little bit but then it was an an immediate like okay katie you're about to embark (laughs) on this insane journey where you're gonna go to dallas you're gonna become a life coach like you know, you're about to step into like this new life and uh, this happened for me, like this happened for, you know, what can you learn from this, I guess, you know, like this, this is happening right now, There, you know, what can we do with this? And what I kind of really started to face, I guess. It's like, I kind of knew this already, but I really looked it in the eye, is that I haven't been very good at taking care of my things in general. My technology in particular, like, like my phone has a gigantic crack on it right now. Like, 
the screen is completely obliterated. And um, also my tablet, it has a lot of scratches on it. Um, I just, in, and my glasses, oh my god, my ex would not t stop talking about how dirty and scratched up and everything my glasses were. And uh, yeah, I just didn't really take good care of my things. I, I just kind of flung them into places. I kind of just, you know, it's just things, I guess. And I, and I thought I was being like, oh, like I don't care about money or I don't, I'm not like, you know, being um, like attaching my worth to my things. Like I thought, I thought I was being like aloof and just carefree, but really I just was in denial, I guess, of the things that I own. And I think some people could definitely think that I'm spoiled, but when I did the personal development work and I really looked into why I was doing that, um, I found out that it's because I don't believe that I deserve nice things. I kind of think that nice things are for other people and that I'm not deserving of it. So, you know, I kind of make it so that I don't really, like the, the nice things around me don't really last very long. And I used to write though, like since doing the personal development work, I used to do um, where I would write 10 things in the morning, 10 things that I'm abundant, like why I am, 10, 10 reasons why I am abundant, which is an amazing exercise. I really recommend anyone to do it. And one of the things that I used to write is um, I'm abundant for my technology. Like it's amazing the technology that we have today and the technology that I have in order to create anything I want and to spread my message and to create awesome artwork to share with the world and I can use this technology to connect with people, all that kind of stuff. But now because of, you know, facing this thing, I realized like, okay, yeah, I am abundant and I saw it as something like, oh, this is really nice that I have this, but I wasn't truly grateful for it, you know? And I really understood like how much I appreciated my laptop and my technology because I had to borrow my dad's laptop, which is not my own. It didn't have my settings. It's a different operating system. And I also lost a couple days of work because I wanted to, um, I had to take it to the store to see how, you know, how it all worked and what was wrong with it. And yeah, I just really, really appreciate now, like technology that works and I also really appreciate the technology that I bought that I chose and the one that I kind of configured to be completely my own and um, yeah and so this painting that you're watching right now this was done on my dad's laptop which is um, yeah it was fine I just I just really really appreciate my own and I really can't wait to get it back and um, yeah, I'll, I know I'll have to pay for the repair cost, but it's really worth it for me to have my computer back. And so, yeah, like I just, I really didn't take the best care of my things. And when I understood how actually I wasn't acting grateful, now I really see how, like it's, it's no problem at all for me, the idea of buying protective cases for my phone and for my laptop. I... I mean, I did buy them, but I would buy cute ones that I thought were cute and then like didn't actually protect them. And I know now that I really want to take care of my things. I really want to nurture them. I actually find joy now in the idea of buying things for them as if as if they're like puppies or, or like living beings, I guess, that I really want to, you know, nurture and like take care of. And so... I also, the idea of buying insurance in the future, I wouldn't buy that now for a laptop that's around um, three years old. But the next time that I, I get a new device, like the idea of buying insurance for them, it's, yeah, no problem. Of course, like I want to give that gift to myself, like the idea of my technology is safe with me. And then also I just, I love being the kind of person who really takes care of her things. Uh, same with my glasses, same with, yeah, my phone, and just anything that I chose to keep in my life. Oh, I also even notice, like, I hold my phone differently now. 
Like there's, my grip is just so much stronger. Like it's not like I'm anxious and trying to, you know, just so scared of dropping it. It's more just like I have a good hold of it now. And then I'm also so much more aware of where water <laughs> and any kind of liquid is. And I just really, really enjoy being that type of person who is aware and is alert and and cares about her things. And so then I started thinking about all the other things I used to list as like I'm abundant because of these things. But like, am I really acting and and being grateful for these things? And so I started thinking about all the other stuff and one of them is like my body. I used to write, you know, I'm abundant in health, I'm, I'm young. But then I th was thinking like, what am I doing that's showing that I'm actually really grateful for it? And so one of the things that I'm definitely gonna buy next in my shopping list is a manicure set. That might not be a big deal to some people, but it's actually a really big deal to me. I don't know, I've just never taken good care of my fingernails or I've just always borrowed from other people. Like my ex also had, you know, his own set and I just, I love the idea now of having my own. I don't know, it just sounds so adult <laughs> and I never considered it. You know, I, I always just thought it was this thing, but I really see like the significance of it, I guess. Um, another thing would be really making sure that I have great sleep every night, you know, as much as I can. So there's just little things like um, there's this light outside of my uh, bedroom that I sometimes just leave on because it's outside. And if I'm already inside and I'm, you know, I feel lazy to go outside. But uh, since this, like I've been very diligent about turning that light off because it helps me sleep so much better when I don't see any trickle of light inside my bedroom. Um, also just like not ever negotiating ever again with staying up late or not. Like I am getting into bed at 10, between 10 and 11. I am not going to get into bed later than 11 whenever I can. And if I do, then I'm going to set my alarm to go off later. Um, at least seven hours every single night like this is how I show that I appreciate my body and I'm going to give it you know adequate adequate sleep adequate rest and then some other things that I listed as I'm abundant for um, but maybe I'm not being grateful for are these so people who I can serve like there are a lot of people who have mismanaged minds and who have um, you know, want some help with their life, with their emotions, with their thoughts. And um, I mean, they're, I, I'm not grateful that they're in suffering, but I'm grateful for anyone who follows me, who, who, who wants to hear what I have to say in terms of like bettering our lives together. And so now I'm thinking, like, okay, what are some ways that I can really show my gratitude to the people who are allowing me to serve them? So pretty much you guys, if you're listening to this, like I'm trying to think right now of some things that I can do. And now I see giveaways so differently, you know, like I used to think that giveaways is this thing you do so that people will like you. <laughs> But now I'm like, no, it's like, this is a way to show just how grateful you are. And, and then, and, and that makes even, you know, doing things like Instagram lives, for example, so much less scary because it's, it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about, it's about helping people. It's about being, taking, giving your time so that people can ask questions and then they can, you know, improve their lives that way. That just makes doing that stuff so much less scary because it's all about, gratitude it's all about serving um another thing is money like what can I do to show money how grateful I am whenever it comes my way yeah so this one I had an idea where uh with money I would greet it so that means I need to be so much more aware of my bank account uh I used to be very very um just aloof and neglectful like I just wouldn't look I just would hope for the best. I just would be terrified of looking into my bank account because I just don't, I didn't want to see the truth. I didn't want to see when I got bills. I didn't want to see where my money went. And I realized that's really not being grateful of money. And so 
I love the idea of greeting it. So that means every Monday I'm going to do, I'm going to start looking at my bank account and just seeing where my money is coming from and just it's and like it's like a best friend right like like it's a friend that's coming to visit you it's I greet them and I greet money and I'm like thank you <laughs> thank you for coming um, and that's the same for when money leaves so I'm not gonna be like uh, fuck you now that you're leaving but it's like if money leaves I want to see where it's going and I want to be grateful for what that money allowed me to do and it's kind of like also saying goodbye to a friend um, when they leave and another thing that I'm gonna start doing I've already started this it's it's called the 10 10 10 rule this is created by I learned this from Catherine Zankina from manifestationbabe.com she has this 10 10 10 rule where anytime that you get money you 10% um, you put it in a savings account and then 10% you donate it, and then 10% you spoil yourself, I guess. So it gets, it's, it's, um, it goes towards you feeling like you're not deprived. So 10% goes into savings, which I think is a great way to show how grateful you are for the money that comes you know, your way, because it's like, oh, thank you so much for this money, I'm gonna take care of it, like, I'm gonna watch this one grow, I'm gonna nurture this. And then 10% to donate just to help you feel abundant, to help us feel like we have more than enough and there are some people who might need it more in this current moment. And then 10% as well for ourselves because, you know, we're working hard all the time and, I mean, all of us, I'm sure if you're listening to this, you are probably working on something to try and better your life. It's being grateful to ourselves, on, uh, essentially. Okay, and then so another one that I used to put, like, I'm abundant in resources. So as in, like, I have all, you know, I have all these books, I have all these YouTube channels, I have all these um, documentaries or, yeah, books and podcasts and all that stuff that, you know, I just feel so lucky and so abundant that our generation has this. Like, a lot of my parents' generation definitely didn't have this. So, I you know, I feel abundant that we have so much of these resources but then what am I doing to be grateful for it so I was thinking like I might want to start really actually writing letters or writing gratitude letters to the people that really really affected me I really really changed my life and even if they you know some of these people have a million followers or whatever and even if they never read it it's it's primarily for me like when I write this letter I'm gonna feel so good and so grateful and if they read it, cool. If they don't, that's fine because I still get the benefit of writing a letter to somebody who was brave enough to put themselves out there and then help people despite their insecurities, despite their issues, I guess. And so, yeah, I, that's, that's another idea. Okay, the next one is time. I wanted to write I'm abundant in, in time whenever I'm, whatever I was writing, like, uh, the 10 reasons thing because I think a lot of times when we're so scared of not having enough time we tend to prove that true and we end up doing things like procrastinate or doing busy work or doing work that's not important um, and we kind of you know lose time so one of the things that I've decided to do to um, be more grateful of time is that I want to be like so aware of my calendar just like with money I want to greet time like it's a friend like I don't want to be scared of it so I want to start looking and I have been in the last like four days now I've been really on top of it when it comes to my calendar and it's such an easy simple habit where I'm not like planning every single thing but I'm just doing my best to have my day scheduled out or like have my day even if like let's say it's 3 p.m and I look at my calendar and I have nothing for the rest of the day then I just do my best to like organize it so that like okay I'm gonna do this and do that and it's gonna even if it's super messy even if it's like not exactly what I'm gonna do and then I change it so that you know it, it reflects what I actually did but just being aware of my calendar and being aware of time I just know that it's going to improve my relationship with time so much more 
So that's what I'm going to do um, myself. Um, a lot of the times when I put I'm abundant, I, I often say things like, I'm abundant in my motivation, I'm abundant in my commitment to personal growth, all this kind of stuff. So I definitely want to do things to be grateful to myself. And um, so there's that money thing. But then I, the other thing I was thinking, I mean, these are all just ideas. I just, I'm, I'm going to keep thinking about some like systems, I guess. But one, I ha one idea that I had was... Um, what if I like bought two of everything that I regularly use? So like deodorant or shaving cream or um, I have to buy these like bug spray stuff whenever I'm in Indonesia because there's mosquitoes everywhere. But like what if I bought two every single time? Because it is like the best feeling when you run out of something and then you remember that you have another one. And then I could take that moment to thank my past self for buying two. And I, I think that would be just like a really nice gift that I could do to myself. So that's an idea, but there are lots of ways other than just like thanking myself in my head. Like I'm trying to think of things that I can do, you know, I can actually do, not just think. Um, and then finally, I have one here for friends. Um... Yeah, I just, I want to make sure that I guess that I, I really am acting grateful towards the people in my life who I really, really do appreciate. Um, this girl, I was hanging out with one of my friends um, who I just met. She's a new friend and she was telling me about how she really likes um, my friend group in high school. Um, so me and like, it's like seven other girls and me. And she said, like, that she really likes us because we're very kind to each other. Like, she thinks we have a really good friendship going and that we um, we seem to be just, like, level-headed girls who are, yeah, actually really, really nice to each other. And um, I was thinking, like, yeah, shit, we really do. Um, I am really lucky that I have uh, friends like that who... We really are supportive of each other. Like, I don't see any of us ever, 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 you know, wishing that somebody else wouldn't succeed. You know, even if one of us wasn't doing so well, like, it, I just, w I couldn't see that. And when she said that, I was like, oh, shit, yeah, that's true. And it's something that I definitely do not want to take for granted at all. So... I was thinking I could also write gratitude letters to them, even if I never send it to them. Like, it's just it's just about really thinking about what it is about these people that I really appreciate and why I'm so grateful that they're in my life. Um, and, yeah, so that's that's another idea. So, yeah, I mean, there the list could go on for sure. But I just, I really love that I was able to learn, like, and like brainstorm some ideas for other topics that I could I could be grateful for and um, which is why I'm so excited about this episode why I just why I was feeling good to to make it because since I was committing to telling you guys every week what I learned what I'm doing I really had to articulate it right like I really had to put it into words and share it with you guys and because of that I got so much more out of it like I mean, isn't that so interesting? Like, I spilled my, I spilled water on my laptop. My laptop now won't turn on. I can't do anything for about a week. And, like, look at what I got out of it, you know? I got so much out of it. All this, like, learning, learning lessons. Like, I'm so happy that I learned this stuff. Like, this is so valuable. And I got that out of a pretty negative thing, I guess, right? So... Yeah, it's just really interesting what we can actually learn from the bad stuff when we're looking for it. Like when we ask ourselves the right questions, instead of asking ourselves questions like, why why is the world horrible? Why am I such an idiot? Why? What, what's wrong with me? Instead, to ask better questions like, what can I learn from this? How is this day amazing? What can I do to be more grateful today? Your brain will look for the answers, you know? So, yeah, I am really excited about this lesson, and I hope I can put it into into practice. And um, I forgot who I heard this from, but somebody, maybe Tony Robbins or something, 
he said that gratitude is the killer of depression and anxiety and it is so 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 true i think so yeah okay well that's everything for me today i'm gonna finish up packing and i'm gonna be off to dallas and i cannot wait to tell you guys about how yeah how it went because this really feels like a fucking new door into a brand new life i'm ugh, it's a little emotional um yeah i'll i'll let you guys know all right guys thanks so much for listening i am so so grateful to you thank you thank you thank you i hope you guys have a beautiful wonderful day and i'll talk to you next week okay bye